Hey guys, it's Jay, and uh, I want to do a, like, basically an, a review and my thoughts of these brakes. These ones are specifically for my car, but these are the Bosch Quiet Cast Premium Disc Brake Pads. that are a ceramic brake pad, which gives you genuine ceramic formula, delivers quiet, low-dust performance, pre-attached rubber core shims, Promote silent operation. Um, that's what's on that side. This is what's on this side. This is the how they're made and what layers there's in there. I guess this very outer layer is the metal shim, steel shim. Then you got a rubber shim underneath that. And then you got, I guess that four is, oh, three is steel. And you got four is a rubber like shim there. And then you got the, uh, the, the plate. The back plate and then you got the friction material right there which is ceramic um, yeah that's just some warnings that are no not any importance to me I got all of these off from um, shit what the hell is that site oh um rockauto.com okay the both of the boxes are the same. These are just the brake, the back brakes, and this is the front brakes. Um, these come highly recommended from uh, YouTube reviews and stuff like that. So I wanted to get them. I've never used Bosch's stuff before. Damn. Ooh. All right, what do we got on the lip? Shows you stuff about wear pattern and stuff like that. Now, a good thing with all these uh, brakes is you always, when you're doing a brake job, you definitely want to get the brake hardware if it's not included. If it's not included, go and buy it. Um, it's a good thing to have. It keeps your brakes working really well. Now, in here, with the front pads, it, can, it comes with uh, some synthetic brake component lubricant, which I don't need that. I bought some of my own. I'll show you what the pads look. I'll show you one. Uh, one of these back ones, or well, front ones, excuse me. This is the pad themselves. The front ones are bigger pads. And that's the design of them. They have the um, tam uh, chamfered edges like they do, so it, it promotes even wear. But that's what all these ones look like, the front ones. This is the wear indicator, I think. No, that's not a wear indicator. It would be lower than that. I guess this is just a clip to hold them in or some shit. And then uh, I'll show you one of the back, uh, back brake pads. The back ones also came with the brake hardware, which is a plus. And like I said, the, I got these off of rockauto.com. Uh, rock you can get parts cheaper for there. But these are so freaking tiny. These are my back disc brakes for my Nissan Altima. I really don't see how there's all those other layers in there. Like they're supposedly advertising unless it's built into this shim. The metal back plating. Because honestly, all I see is the metal shim and then nothing else. <laughs> it don't matter. Maybe it's... Oh no, it is a part of that. Okay, it is a part of this. It's just really hard to see. But here you go. You can see it. There's actual layers this back plating on here. I didn't actually see it until now. But I've heard nothing but about good things about Bosch, so that's why I wanted to get their stuff and give them a shot this time. I've never used Bosch before, so I think it was really cool to be using it. I still got some guy on the game trying to fucking kill me. He doesn't know where I am. I'm going to be doing these tomorrow. I'm not going to do a video on changing brake pads. Um, a, because um, I don't have a good camera enough to do it. All I have is my cell phone here, so... But also, some other things that I did get for this, uh, to do this brake job properly, is the brake, um, like, what is that? 
the piston uh, piston compressor tool there. It's just a flat little tool that you screw down that compresses the uh, brake cylinder back into the thing. That just makes it easier for doing that. Those aren't very expensive at all. And then I also got some some silicone uh, lubricant for the slide bolts for the calipers. I'm going to be uh, cleaning them off and and uh, putting new silicone grease on there to make them slide good and keep sliding good. I didn't need rotors. I checked my rotors, so they weren't grooved or anything like that. And barely any rust on them. I only have about 38,000 miles, so shouldn't be any really. But I guess maybe a little later, if I remember, uh, in, a, in a month or so, I'll do another video, a follow-up video, and let you know what I think of these brake pads. See how they are compared to my OEM ones that I've had on the car since new. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.